You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters. Well, we're going to talk about Russell Wilson because, oh, I'm sure Mike Tomlin is rolling his eyes straight out of his head. Like, just his eyes literally rolled back and then fell out and just rolled across the floor when he saw the words that are coming out of Russell Wilson's mouth. And congratulations, Steelers fans. This is your quarterback. Wow, here we go. So, Russell Wilson has come out. He's, number one, he's involved in this Essence photo shoot. All right? And uh, before we jump into this, we'll just take a look at Russ. Right here, <laughs> God, I don't even know what this means. Sexiest man of the moment. Here we are, right here. That's that's Russell Wilson. Um, <laughs> he made some comments about being a black quarterback, and to say that Russell Wilson is getting destroyed is an understatement because he's getting destroyed. And and luckily for us, this came up. Outkick did an article on it. And um, we can, you know, think about Russell's greatest hits right here. Here's uh, Mr. Unlimited right here. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, Russell here. Yes, the typical boring, yes, Russell, the robot Russell, the one you guys love to know. A real, real exciting. You know, I'm real excited. Um, but anyways, uh, everybody has to have an alter ego, right? And, and I've been thinking about what my alter ego would be. And I, I, I think I have an alter ego. His name his name's Mr. 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 Unlimited. Yeah, you got to be unlimited. You know, you got to have a thought process of being unlimited. So when people ask you, you know, what you're thinking about or what you want to do in life or where you want to go, you got to be unlimited. Tell them I'm unlimited. You know what I mean? So when they ask you certain questions like Who brings you motivation, Russell? Mr. Unlimited. Unlimited. Who is your go-to person for advice, Russell? They think Pete Carroll. They think this person. Think that person. Love you, Pete. But it's Mr. Unlimited. Tell him. Okay. And in case you don't know how that cringe fest came to exist, Russell was trying to create a brand like TB12. And it was supposed to be the Mr. Unlimited brand. Well, it didn't work out. Much like this didn't work out. This is the Danger Russ subway commercial all right hey you want to uh, split this subway sandwich it is my signature sandwich it's called the danger witch and it's dangerously good be careful though it's spicy hmm. you ever done anything dangerous That is dangerous. I've done something like that too. I won't tell anybody. Listen, one time, ugh, never mind. That's too dangerous. Anyways, my danger witch, it's only in the vault. That's our little secret. Okay, so that was the subway, the one of the infamous subway commercials. So Russell Wilson came out, and made these comments about Patrick Mahomes and. He gives Patrick Mahomes credit for his success, and he gives all the credit to him? Him? Question mark? Like, as in Russell Wilson? Because evidently, Russell does not realize that Doug Williams and Steve Air McNair exist. But here we go. Russell Wilson believes he paved the way for other African-American quarterbacks, such as Patrick Mahomes. Quote, for me to be able to go to back-to-back -back Super Bowls and win one of them, I think I opened a lot of doors. Now you see like guys like Patrick Mahomes who won it. It's really just us so far, but there's more to come. Now, look, correct me if I'm wrong, and guys, I don't believe in breaking up quarterbacks based on race, but Doug Williams was a black quarterback that won a Super Bowl with the Washington Redskins. Steve Air McNair went to one. Hell of a great quarterback. Does not get mentioned enough when we're talking about any of these quarterbacks. Uh, Donovan McNabb went to a Super Bowl. 
Donovan McNabb was a hell of a quarterback. A hell of a quarterback. Michael Vick? Anybody. Hell, Cam Newton made a Super Bowl. I don't get where he's coming from, and, well, neither did a lot of other people because he gets drug. Russell Wilson hates Doug Williams. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Russell Wilson is clearly suffering from CTE. Uh, don't insult Antonio Brown like that. Oh, yes, Russell Wilson, you were the first African-American quarterback ever. There definitely weren't guys like Vic McNabb and Cam before you. Steve Air McNair, Michael Vick, Donovan McNabb. Do you guys realize that Dante Culpepper had uh, like three gargantuan seasons? That was a thing. Those were the guys. Woo, this guy just puts Vic out there. Yeah, I laugh out loud. It's crazy. Let's ride the crazy train, clown. Oh, boy. CTE SPN. Antonio Brown's cooking everybody these days. I always forget that Russell Wilson was the first black QB in the NFL. Now, I'm going to tell you, that, that little photo shoot right here that I showed you, there were people in there that were like, I didn't even realize Russell Wilson was black. <laughs> oh, if you listen to the Legion of Boom and Marshawn Lynch, they'll tell you he wasn't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes wouldn't have been able to do it without him. Uh, what? Uh, you're not wrong. What? What? That's crazy. For him to take credit for Patrick's success is a little bit narcissistic. Not Russell Wilson. I won't hear of that kind of slander and defamation on this channel. God. Oh, boy. This is actually funny. He's also helping others raise sons, just as future. <laughs> That's good. Doug Williams would like a word. Yeah. There's Doug Williams. Yep, sign him to CTESPN. Woo. Yeah, Mahomes wasn't playing quarterback before 2014. How about a little rock after this last gargantuan WrestleMania? Yeah, okay. Woo, CTE check. Yeah, man. Man. Buddy got CTE. That's funny. It's funny. Russ has got Napoleon syndrome. He's pretty short. He's short. He's by NFL standards, he's short. By regular folk standard, not that short. There seems to be no sign of intelligent life anywhere. Is he having severe symptoms of CTE? Question mark. This is the one I prescribe to. Has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with being black. No, just just being great. That's all. That's all. He's got main character syndrome. <laughs> Crazy as F. Mother Effer, Masharn Lynch, and the Legion of Boom is the reason you went to back to back Super Bowls. Yeah, there you go. Yikes. Little Cheats Creek. Yeah. Find someone who loves you as much as Russell Wilson loves Russell Wilson. Guys, Mike Tomlin could. Look, there's a world where this entire scenario with the Steelers absolutely implodes. That's out there. This guy, watch NFL films and smarten up. Shake my head. Guys, if you really start breaking down Russell's tape, oof, it's, it's not great. He really is a clown. How do we tell him? Yeah, yeah, SpongeBob, you're polishing the table underneath water. Whew. Man, we could really do this. When you're a bitch, you're a bitch, you're a bitch, your mom's a bitch, your dad's a bitch, your grandma's a bitch. Woo! Yeech! Steelers should cut this asshole today. What a mess. 
Hashtag NFL. Russ should shut the F up. Oh, wow. How generous of Russell Wilson to open doors for Patrick Mahomes. Oh, man, now we get into the uh, nudity spam portion of the video. Wow. I mean, Russell, are we doing this again, Russell? We're, we're, dang, we're dangerous again. We're Mr. Unlimited again. We're sexiest man of the moment again. And we're taking credit for Patrick Mahomes' Super Bowl wins? Oh, man. Uh, again, I thought, I thought this was a good fit with the Steelers. I still do. But clearly, some of the things that rubbed John Schneider, Pete Carroll, and Sean Payton all the wrong ways, and Marshawn Lynch, and Richard Sherman, and the Legion of Boom, some of those things absolutely still exist. High knees on an airplane, anybody. Good luck with this. Tell me what you think. Peace. I'm out. Doug Williams would like a word. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.